guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and today we are unboxing my delivery from the inspired stories is that what it's called yeah it is indeed and i am very very excited a little bit of context i have used their 2023 lifestyle planner um just the book version since march this year this is a picture of what it looks like and i loved it i wanted the ring binder which is what i have ordered first but i didn't want to order it if i wasn't going to use it so i thought let me try that out i got that planner it was in their outlet so the inspired stories has an outlet section to their website which is all kind of bits and bobs that aren't like 100% perfect maybe there's a scratch on the button or there's some scraping on the leather or something like that um and I got my diary planner situ from there and I think it was like 15 pound maybe and it should have been like 30 or something like that so it was a steal anyway um yeah so come 2024 ar arriving to us imminently um I decided to put an order in and treat myself because I have been using that every single day pretty much. I've been lax the last few days, weeks even, but I think that's just because I've just not felt very inspired. <laughs> so yeah, well, let's unbox this bad boy. I don't actually remember how I first saw Inspired Stories. I think it must have just been through general Google searching of like planners and stuff. So, oh, this is what the box looks like. Um, so we've got great things ahead, follow for inspiration and their social media. We have an onwards and upwards little card. Oh, and it's come in this lovely box. Like now this is a box you could use again and again and it's got their own tissue paper. Okay, so into the things we'll start off with a thing that wasn't in the box which is this really cute little pen um i just wanted the pen i wasn't really too bothered about the sleeve that it's in oh it's a weighty pen though is the pen this is in the color blush and then that is what the nib looks like um let's give it a scribble on that card all right it's cute not sure how I feel about it. This did cost me nine pounds. I have bought everything and this video is not sponsored. It's a nice feeling pen. And it, this pouch is free, it comes with it and you can get it personalized. So that'd be a cute gift for, you know, someone, you know, that likes writing. But the ring binder journal that I got already comes with a pen holder. So kind of wish there was an option not to have it in the pouch. Not gonna lie, it's got there. So this is what the pouch looks like. Um, I presume you get a matching pouch to whatever colour you order, but it's got this really nice little embossing on the back and then your personalisation would be here and then a nice little gold button. So yeah, it's cute. Forget about the pen. <laughs> Let's open this wondrous box. Oh, it's really nice. Ooh! Ooh! So, this is my ring binder. Now, this is weird because I had to get it, well, I wanted to get it personalized, but you girls get married soon and I am changing my name. So I was like, <laughs> what do I get personalized on here? Mm. But that's it, that was a dilemma that I didn't realize I was gonna have to face it soon. But this box, right, before we get into the actual planner, this box, let me tell you, I'm keeping her. That's a really cute box, although there is a little bit of some slight on there. Right, where are my imperfections? This is the grey that I got. It's definitely not as dark as it seems online. And as, this is from the outlet. So I didn't get any of this from the full price section. I bought this binder from the outlet section. So this is meant to be one that's imperfect. But from the outside... I can't quite see what's imperfect. Like, the button's fine, the button's perfect. So, I don't know. Righty oh. Oh, that was a snap. Let's open her up. So, this is what the inside 
of the kind of bring minder looks like you get you get two inserts so i'm uh, just says grateful for where i am excited for where i'm going to be that's what these both of these say um don't know if they're kind of maybe like dividers to tell you where you are i am looking on the inside and i'm not quite sure where the imperfections are so it's got a really nice little bit of embossing here and then i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this in the, the mid oh my god look we just peeking over in the middle it's upside down yeah in the middle here it says create your own story um so yeah just those little details that are really cute so how do we do we pull it i don't want to break it Ugh. how do i do this oh okay push it down get it out right <laughs> let's close you so to open it you push these little tabs down either side here um and that springs it open so yeah that's the journal okay now onto the boring ins insert side of things do they upgrade me so, like I said, this year I used the Lifestyle Planner. So that is the insert pack that I bought. This is the 2024 Lifestyle Weekly Planner. Um, and I like this because it has your habit tracker, it's got your monthly overview, and I don't need like a vertical weekly day-by-day -day plan. I just need to note like a few little things down and put my list and stuff in it, and that's that. Like I'm not, I don't need to lay out my full day. Like I'm not a business owner, I ain't got multiple meetings unless it's work wise um and this is gonna be more for personal use anyway so yeah this is the pack um and then i also got the bullet journal insert pack because the only thing i found with the pet like the book bound planner um is that there wasn't enough room to write like notes or additional bits and bobs there's a few note pages at the back but just not enough that i would like um so i thought i'd get the bullet journal because then i can you know i've got a bit, they've got a lined paper option but i thought if i get the bullet journal option then i've got a bit more room to play with so i can make my own little like book tracker which i did in my um first one and i can just maybe just get a bit more creative with it you know so yeah i got both of these i'm not going to open them and put them in on camera because i'm going to do that for the social <laughs> and also i have the sticker set now this is why i don't know if they sent me the real life not the real life the on outlet version purely because i just thought the outlet version came as is i didn't realize it got the you know these additional stickers now these stickers are cute but this is not enough for a whole year you know this this, this isn't this is enough um but they're cute this is what the stickers feature so some like to-do list stickers some self-care stickers some celebrating things some awareness and some hearts and stuff very cute i mean you could also get these off etsy this this is my little haul oh god I'm so excited. The rest of my evening is literally just going to be filming some bits and bobs with these, unboxing them, and just getting in it. I have, I'll give you a bit of, I'll give you a bit of insight into what I'm actually going to use the planner for. So, firstly, I didn't really colour code any of my tasks by like genre or by topic. I just kind of highlighted them and that was it. And I think this time around, I'm going to have a highlighter per kind of topic. So what's like self-care, what's kind of blog related, what's maybe wedding related, um, what's social life related, you know, that sort of thing. 2024 is my year, I'm telling you, all right? I am just going to be more intentional with the goals that i set rather than just say i want to get x amount of youtube subscribers or i want to go on x amount of holidays or whatever like i want to be more like i want to get x amount of youtube subscribers so i'm going to do x y and z basically and i also want to put in more time into my month to go back and recheck those goals because i did kind of write them last time with my old planner but i didn't put any time in to like recalibrate so we need to prioritize that 
I want to be more intentional with like, brands that I contact for PR and like be more on it on that side of things and just kind of get myself out there a little. Um, my wedding planning stuff, books that I'm reading, as well as maybe I might use the bullet journal for a bit of review type stuff. Um, I want to put like more emphasis on my fitness goals. I'm a running girly now, so we need to kind of keep at it. And I want to track my period properly alongside my running because I I mark off in the week, the monthly view, how many times I've exercised, what days, what I did, and whatever. And it'd be interesting to see then how that coincides with my menstrual cycle. So yeah, they're the thoughts I have for now um as well as just kind of some professional development goals and stuff but yeah that is that's what i'm aiming for so like i'm really excited that is my little my haul i have to say i really like the inspired stories kind of whole brand and their whole like ethos and social presence and stuff um i really want to be on their affiliate scheme <laughs> so if you're watching this guys hit me up i will happily shout out you because I love it they have so many other products and stuff out there I've linked them down below but they've got like a morning routine journal they have um daily planners which are vertical um they have daily planners they have weekly planners they have a financial kind of tracker and a meal prep thing as well and they've just got loads of like cute little bits and bobs they've got a tote bag and their whole vibe is very positive and i love it i'm here for it so again it's not sponsored i bought everything myself but i just want to share it with you because i love a planner <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoyed if you have any planner recommendations yourself whether it be i don't know papio or anybody else just like leave them in the comments or let me know how you use your planner or bullet journal because i would be very interested for some suggestions but apart from that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> I need to like be more like this. Is that better? The can I do it like I'm gonna have to keep my head down. <laughs> uh, are we focused yet? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can open my planner. I'm very excited. Oh yeah.